Hey everybody, how you doing? Happy Homebrew Wednesday. Okay, so here we have seven bottles of the caramel apple cider that I had brewed up. I just bottled today and I ended up with, you know, three 500 mils and four of the 450 Grolsch bottles. Um, was kind of hoping for eight bottles, but well, this is what I've got. Uh, the caramel apple cider that I brewed up, or sort of the experiment, sort of the experiment to me. Um, it uh, it spent 18 days in uh, in the fermenter. So, and what I did was I I f didn't want to do a secondary, so I left it. I, you know, I left it in the single single stage. And what I did was I I, I took a, a, a brand, like a new rag and I soaked it in some sanitizing or some star sand solution and I ran I just sort of siphoned it through um, a, a rag and a, a filter and I kind of filtered it a little bit just uh, just in case I sucked up any of the heavy uh, you know sediment you know towards the bottom so this is what I did, and what I what I also did was I took and I I mixed a, I took my smaller bucket here, and I mixed I mixed in uh, I'm gonna this is gonna be and in, in, in being carbonated, and I sort of did some numbers I worked some numbers out and f usually for about a five gallon batch of beer or cider I guess you would probably not sure if cider would be the same maybe a little bit more, but for beer you we typically add in or bulk prime with about 170 grams of sugar dextrose usually dextrose um, so what I did was I worked it out and I, I, I split it into five and came out with I think 34 grams for one gallon so what I did was I, I, I had some I bought some apple juice and I'm, I'm this is this is a little another sort of stage of the experiment so what I did was I've carbonated or I've mixed in regular apple juice in with this and the apple juice that I had um, uh, consisted of 25 grams of sugar per cup so what I did was I calculated and I could have added about uh, a, a cup and a third worked out to be about 33 grams of sugar so I decided just to mix in a cup and a uh, yeah that's what I mixed in sorry a cup and a third I was gonna go to a cup and a half uh, which would have been about 37 grams of sugar, but I I'd level I'd level it off with the me in the measuring cup at, at one cup and one third of apple juice, put it in my bucket, and then I siphoned the uh, I siphoned the cider into the bucket, gave it a little gentle mix, and then I bottled it. So uh, hopefully it'll turn out all right. Um, it's not that bad as far it's not that bad. It's not even that cloudy. Um, I don't know if you can see that little light through there. So, it, you know, it's got a little bit of cloudiness, but it's not too bad considering, you know, considering I siphoned it right out of the uh, single-stage fermenter. All right, so, I mean, this is going to sit for one week. Uh, well, it's going to, you know, they might even, some of them might even sit longer than that. I'm not going to, we're not going to drink them all next week. But they, essentially the ideal is uh, to, idea is to uh, bottle condition for a week and then um, officially going to try it, or Dar's going to try it. On next week's next week on Wednesday, when it will be New Year's Eve, um, we're casting on New Year's Eve. We're broadcasting, and Dar's going to join. Dar's going to be a part of that, and she's going to try this out. Now I don't know if she's going to like it or not. Not sure yet. We'll see how things go. But hey, you know, half a dozen one, uh, six of the other, right? If she don't like it, I drink it. If she likes it, good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> get that evil laugh out come on alrighty then well anyway so that's what I did this is you know like I said it's kind of an experiment for me and using grains in, in an apple cider this time so hopefully it'll work out half decent and hopefully it doesn't over carbonate hopefully it carbonates right, right around where I'd like it to be alright thanks for watching everybody and uh, I'll see you soon cheers <laughs>